Hi, and welcome to this section of the Physics Tutor, where we're going to talk about something very important. It's going to be kind of a short lesson, but it's a very important topic, so you need to watch this one really carefully, and that's the topic of work. Uh, in physics, work has a very specific definition. Everybody has their own definition of work in real life. Most of the time, people don't like to do work, okay? But in physics, we define work very, very specifically. Um, let me ask you a question. Pretend this were a, um, I don't know, a bowling ball. A bowling ball, something pretty heavy, okay? And I were to hold that bowling ball in my hand for five minutes, 10 minutes, three hours, 100 hours, three weeks, let's say. Let's say I were to hold that bowling ball very steady for a year, okay, in my hand. I think most of us would all agree that we're doing work, right, because it takes some effort to hold that ball up, okay? Turns out in physics you're not doing any work when you do that, and I will explain to you exactly why that's the case, but in order to understand that, we need to talk about the definition of the term work, and that's what we're going to do right now. Let's go ahead and define the, the term work in terms of um, physics, and then I think you'll understand why. What we're going to talk about in this section is the concept of work, so that's why I'm going to write that right there. Very simply, the, the, uh, the work done on an object okay, is equal to the force applied to the object times the distance traveled by the object where um, F and D are in the same direction. Okay, what do I mean by that? Uh, I'm going to just draw a quick uh, block here. Okay, so there's some block I'm trying to move. I'm going to do work on this block, right? So let's say I apply some force to the block. So I'm going to apply some force. That's the force I'm talking about here. And then, you know, eventually that block's going to move because I'm pushing on it after all. And the block is going to move some distance, okay, over to the right. Okay, so I'm, move, I'm pushing on this block with some force. Okay, the, the block accelerates okay, and moves because of that, and it goes through some distance, and the entire way, um, the entire time this block is moving from point to point, I'm still pushing on it with that force. So as the block moves, I'm still pushing on it as it moves, okay? And it moves through some distance d, so when you multiply force times distance, you get the concept of work. And that is exactly why if I hold a bowling ball in my hand for two weeks, I don't do any work on it in terms of physics. The reason is, if I hold the ball, I don't move the ball any distance d. So if you, you can hold a bulldozer in your arms if you want to, you're applying a force to that bulldozer, obviously because, it's, because you have to hold it up, right? But unless something moves in physics, you're not actually doing any work on it. And that's very, very important. The other really important thing to mention about this is that the force that you use in this equation is the force in the direction of the motion that you uh, that you travel, okay? 